The Seetherium is a cross-platform creature mod created by Wild Waghorn. Found in the Redwoods, it is a passive tame that accepts sweet vegetable cakes, vegetables and berries. But be warned, when you feed a Seetherium, all other creatures nearby will become aggressive. It has been designed to provide an engaging, viable alternative to using flyers when searching for tames. Seetherium has a passive ability to detect nearby max level creatures when mounted, as well as an alternative ability that gives you thermal vision that reveals nearby dino stats. In addition to this, it also has a headbutt attack, a rear kick that inflicts a slow debuff, and an immobile defense stance which reduces damage taken by 80%. You'll find the mod on Cursed Forge, linked down below in the description, and with that, let's find out more about its real life inspiration. The Seetherium has a strange history. First described in 1836, it was labelled as the missing connecting link between pachyderms and ruminants. Pachyderms are a now obsolete order of mammal, but the group once included elephants, rhinos, tapirs, horses, pigs, hippos and hyraxes, which are small and rotund herbivorous mammals with short tails. The bones that were discovered in the Shivalik Hills, an area of the Himalayan foothills in northern India, were quite unlike anything that had ever been discovered before. The near-complete skull was exceptionally large. It had a pair of horn cores between the eyes, and the navel cavity looked to be recessed further back into the face, perhaps indicating that a short trunk had been attached to it. Due to its large size, and the lack of evidence that it had had a long neck, the researchers at the time concluded that the Seetherium must have had a trunk in order to bring food and water to its mouth. Not everyone agreed, however, and the discovery of further bones showed that the Seetherium had a second pair of broad-pronged horns. This appeared to confirm that the Seetherium must have been an antelope, likely related to the American pronghorn. At the same time, the French anatomist Geoffrey Saint-Hilaire proposed that the Seetherium was a close relative of giraffes but his contemporaries dismissed the proposal. It would, however, turn out that St. Hilaire was correct. The Seetherium was not a connecting link between ruminants and pachyderms, nor was it a species of antelope. It was an extinct form of giraffe. The Seetherium once lived across Africa and the Indian subcontinent. The holotype fossil discovered in the Shivalik Hills has been dated to being around one million years old. It was named after the Hindu god Shiva, and the name means Shiva's beast. The Seetherium was an unusual creature, looking like a cross between a deer, an ox and a giraffe, with a moose-like build consisting of a bulky body and thin legs. Although related to giraffes, it is thought to have looked more like another modern-day family member, the Okapi. Despite its unusual looks, very little reconstructive research has been done regarding the Seetherium. From what is known, it is thought that it would have been about 2.2 metres tall at the shoulder and about 3 metres tall in total. It weighed up to 500 kilograms, although newer estimates place this weight closer to 1,300 kilograms. Historical and contemporary accounts state that the Seetherium may have rivaled the African elephant in terms of body mass, but this has never been tested. Like modern giraffes and akapi, the Seetherium had ossicones on its skull, these are ossified cartilage growths that fuse to the skull and are covered in skin and fur. The Seetherium had two sets, a pair of wide antler-like ossicones on the top of its head and a second pair just above its eyes. The creature's skull would have been incredibly heavy and it had immensely strong shoulders used to support the neck muscles required to lift its head. By weight, it is one of the largest giraffids known and it is thought to have been one of the largest ruminants to have ever existed. Their habitat was one of floodplains, woodlands and savanna grasslands, and it is thought that it would have been a mixed feeder, able to graze and browse. It fed on grasses, herbs and foliage. Contemporary predators would have been the Dinophilus and the Megantherium. Suggestions have been made that a species of Seetherium may have existed as recently as three and a half thousand years ago. Depictions in ancient rock paintings from the Sahara and central West India dating to around 8,000 years ago are said to depict the creature. 
and a decorative copper rain ring dated to three and a half thousand years ago discovered in modern day Iraq is said to resemble the Seatherium. However, these claims are not substantiated by fossil evidence. The Seatherium is an intriguing ancient mammal and one I truly hope is investigated more thoroughly so that we can get a better understanding of how it looked and lived. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, comment Aussie surprise below. I'll see you in the arc. Take care.